Hi everyone, this is Durgesh, a Senior Technical Support Engineer in Informatica. Today I am going to explain you how to run uh, TDM uh, jobs on Hadoop ecosystem using Blaze Engine. So uh, over this demo, I uh, will be showing you how to import tables from HDFS and Hive environment and also uh, configuring a TDM plan to execute on Hadoop ecosystem uh, using Blaze Engine. Uh, and uh, to debug uh, for the failure of the jobs in TDM, uh, I'll show you the directories for checking the logs uh, to further uh, debug down and uh, resolve the issues for the failure of the TDM jobs. And uh, a bit of uh, performance improvement uh, using um, Hive engine and the Blaze engine. Since Blaze is an uh, indigenous Informatica developed engine, uh, so there is a bit of a performance improvement uh, compared to the um, uh, external uh, Hive uh, Server 2 and Hive CLI engines uh, which is supported with the TDM. So let's um, uh, check on the importing tables uh, from Hive and HDFS uh, in this demo. So this is uh, a TDM uh, workbench for 10.1 and I have created a project called TDM HTTP. Uh, so in the actions when you import it we need to import the tables from uh, Hive uh, and or HDFS so in this demo I'll be showing you uh, a job TDM job uh, which involves loading of a data from uh, Hive tables to a HDFS file system so currently uh, I have a created a Hive uh, connection in TDM so this is my Hive connection and I'll select that and uh, so uh, currently in my Hive database, I have a default data source. So selecting that and then uh, so currently we have uh, quite a few tables in the uh, Hive database. So I'll just select uh, any of them. So so this is how uh, uh, we'll import the tables now using Hive connection. I will show you uh, the Hive connections as well in, in some time. Yeah, so the table got imported successfully. Uh, but we can see it here. Under the data masking tab, we I have imported uh, quite a few other tables as well. So under the Hive uh, to data source, we have a couple of tables uh, in this. So for this demo, uh, I have created a masking rule uh, called Hive uh, HDFS and random. Uh, it's a random masking rule which I'll be applying to a, a field called name for the Hive table called uh, demo underscore Hive. And uh, so let's create a plan. So. Um, if we are creating a plan which has to be run on a Hadoop ecosystem, we have to select a plan type as Hadoop and then just select as then add a masking components. So here uh, as I said I have created a random masking rule for masking the name column in the uh, demo hype table. So I will select that and then the next. So here uh, we have the masking rule defined for the Hive 2. Okay. So currently it has been uh, enabled for other uh, data source as well, so which we don't want. Uh, so I'll just stick to the Hive uh, data source table in this. Similarly, here we have to provide source connection is Hive, so we'll select as a Hive source connection. And then the target will be HDFS. So uh, I have to uh, select as a HDFS connection which I have created in TDM and uh, there are further uh, options for the Hadoop file system. Uh, currently in TDM we support uh, two types of file systems format. One is Avro and one is Parkit. So based on the requirement we can select any of those. So currently I, in this demo I will just uh, select as none to show further thing. And uh, we do have an option to um, persist the mapping what uh, TDM generates 
uh, in the developer client since uh, for the Hadoop ecosystem all the mappings will be generated in the developer client so now we have an option to uh, select uh, to persist the mapping if you want to see for the debugging purpose uh, we have an option there and after below that there is an execution engine uh, option so here uh, you have an option for selecting any of this uh, hive engine or a blaze engine so currently i'll select as a blaze for for this now here it will show uh, the source and target so i'll say finish and then i'll try to generate and execute this So, in the monitor tab, you can see it's in the queue. In some time, it will be in the running state. Yeah, so it's uh, running now. The generation task is running. So, generation is succeeded. Now, execution of the job is happening. Uh, it, it will take some time to execute. Yeah, so the job is uh, running now. So we, we can see that uh, the job has been completed and it took around uh, 1 minute uh, 10 seconds to complete. So let's uh, check out the results, uh, what we have. So uh, this is my Hadoop cluster and uh, this was the source table what I have selected for the masking. So it has uh, two records, um, the name and age. And uh, now we'll see uh, the masked output in the hdfs uh, file system so let's go to the hdfs directory so uh, this is our hdfs uh, directory where the target file has been uh, created and uh, this is the target file which we uh, created for the tdm job and uh, if we see the output of this uh, file see we can see that there is a masked output for this the source is the name but it has been masked as a uh, numbers because it's a random masking so it has been masked as a uh, numbers so now we i'll show you the mapping generator for the de in the developer client and uh, uh, further i'll show you the logs uh, in order to debug the issue if you face any so uh, this is the developer client where the tdm has generated its mapping so this is a tdm generated mapping and uh, here you can see uh, this is a simple read write and data masking transformation which is applied and in the runtime you can see uh, this is a hadoop job so it uses a blaze engine here and execution environment is hadoop and it gives the it automatically takes the connection which we have configured in the tdm jobs so now i'll show you the logs where uh, you can uh, debug this issue for so uh, this is my informatica server and uh, once the job fails so all the logs to debug more uh, from the developer client side will be generated under the dis since the job is run under the data integration services so uh, further uh, debugging for any of the issues uh, first uh, error messages can be checked in the job log dot log uh, in tdm but further uh, to debug uh, more on this issue we have to check the logs which are generated under uh, tomcat bin slash dis temp so uh, if the job fails all the logs will be generated here so with this uh, demo we have completed uh, uh, importing the tables and configuring the tdm jobs to run on blaze and executing the workflow uh, and uh, logs to debug uh, for the failure of the jobs uh, now uh, i'll show you the performance improvement uh, uh, between hive and blaze engine which i have already ran two sessions earlier uh, however uh, since we are running a very small set of data we might not able to see much of a difference but uh, the difference could be seen uh, when you run huge amount of data like uh, petabytes and uh, terabytes of data so i'll show you uh, the sessions which i have ran earlier for, for using hive engine and a blaze engine and there is a uh, difference of the performance uh, in the session running uh, using hive so hive engine uh, session will take uh, 1 minute uh, 22 seconds to complete for a single record whereas blaze takes 1 minute uh, 10 seconds to complete for single records okay so uh, this is my uh, plan using a hive engine which took around uh, uh, 1 minute uh, 22 seconds uh, 1 minute 23 seconds whereas our current uh, blaze engine took uh, around uh, 1 minute uh, 13 seconds so yeah so, uh, again the data set was very small so uh, uh, we might not 
uh, see the much of a performance improvement but uh, for a large data sets uh, there's a uh, good improvement of performance uh, in blaze engine compared to the hive so for uh, any further uh, uh, configuration uh, you can uh, refer a tdm uh, guide help guide uh, and also we have a user guide and administration guide uh, for uh, for the configurations of the tdm um, hadoop connections we can configure in tdm using uh, by referring to any of those guides so uh, that's it in this demo uh, we love to hear a feedback uh, from you uh, you can uh, provide a feedback uh, on uh, support videos at informatica.com or you can um, tweet it uh, to our uh, twitter account uh, infosupport thank you